Hi guys! Welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are new to my channel, my name is Gafy. I am someone that loves to play with makeup. I love to do unboxings. But most of all, I just love to shop for really cute, good quality, on-trend pieces that fit petite women like myself. Today I'm going to be showing you guys a petite haul I did for petite dresses for this summer. I just hauled a few of these things. Some of these things I've been wearing for a little bit, including this dress here. All the dresses that I have today are all petite sizes from numerous brands that I love to shop for petite clothing in. So I'm really excited to show you guys. Um, I'll just kind of quickly go over the pieces that I did pick up. This one here is a dress that I got from Abercrombie. It's one of my favorite places to shop for in petite clothing. I've already worn this a few times. I think I may even have spilled something on it today. But either way, I'll show you guys what it looks like in a little bit. Next here is a dress I picked up from Madewell. This one was top rated on the Madewell website. I tried it on already. I don't know if it fits the best on me, but I thought it was just absolutely adorable. Um, it's got like a smocking here with a tie. Uh, straps on the shoulders and it is lined so um, it's really cute off-white tiered embroidered floral dress I'll try this on so you guys can kind of see what this looks like on as well next I picked up a piece obviously from Bowdoin one of my top brands to shop from and this one is much more of a casual but really cute dress um, a lot of these dresses are midi dresses it's just my favorite type of dress to wear but this is a really nice jersey fit floral dress with a really flattering top here. I absolutely had to try this dress on when I saw Bowdoin came out with this. Next is for more of a casual dress. Lately I've been really loving Athleta, I think that's how you say it. But it's, it's a branch off of like the Gap. Uh, Banana Republic, but it's more of like athleisure wear. I've been really loving their style of clothing because it's really comfortable but really cute and stylish at the same time. This came in two different colors. I believe it also came in a black, but I picked this one up. Honestly, I thought this one was the cutest on the model. I've already tried this on and I think it looks adorable, but I can't wait to show you guys this piece as well. And then last but not least, I picked up a dress from J. Crew. And this one is a black eyelet dress. For the summer, you always want to look for like really light floral prints. This dress came in different colors. I believe it came in a white. I think it came in a light blue. I wanted to pick up something a little bit different. Usually for the summer, we always go for like lighter colors. They did have it in a black and I thought it would be adorable. Such a classy piece here. It's functioning buttons all the way through the top with nice shoulder straps and then um, some eyelet detail. I thought the black would make it much more of a classier, dressier piece for the summer. So those are the dresses that I have for my petite dress haul. Uh, if you guys wanna see what these look like, stick around. I'm gonna go ahead and try them on so you can see um, how they look on me. I'll be right back. This is the first dress. This I purchased from Abercrombie. Abercrombie is one of my favorite places to shop for petite clothing in general they've just really stepped up their game in the last five years or so but that is like one of my go-to places price point on their pieces are going up a little bit more than what i remember but the quality is still really there this dress came in i believe three more colors there's like a solid pink i think there's a solid white one and maybe a floral one as well but when i saw that they came out in this brown neutral tone i had to pick it up the polka dots just kind of like sold it for me. Super cute, really vintage print. Honestly reminded me of Pretty Woman. I don't know if you guys are old enough to even know that movie or what dress she wore there. It's a dress that Julia Roberts wore in that movie where it was like a brown dress with polka dot prints and I thought it was just absolutely adorable. The silhouette on this is not quite the same though. This just lands right at my ankle. It would look really cute with a little heel as well or espadrille, but I wore it with some clogs. Um, something that doesn't give me too much height because I want to be comfortable as well when I walk around. I did wear this around Portland, eating at the food trucks on a sunny day. It just looks so cute. I've gotten so many compliments on this dress, but let's go into the detail a little bit. I'm going to get up close so you guys can see. It's got a really cute bodice here and it has these buttons. These buttons aren't functioning buttons. So just so you know, um, it has a really nice scoop neckline with like this, uh, spaghetti strap tie shoulder here. The back has a smocking to it. 
so it makes it really easy to put on. There's no zipper or anything near this dress, so you do have to throw it over your head, um, but it's really comfortable, really flowy. There are no pockets to this, which is, which I'm surprised about because there's some dresses that I get from Abercrombie that have pockets, um, but no, no pockets to this at all. Um, and it, it's like a really light chiffon type of fabric and it is lined as well. So you don't have to worry about what you wear underneath. It's lined pretty good. It's really cute and comfortable, really girly and flowy at the same time. I absolutely love this dress. This is probably one of my favorites in this haul in general. I've already worn it a few times. And I just really, really love this. You can definitely dress this up as well, depending on what shoes you wear, what kind of hat you wear for the summer, purse, clutch, however you want to make it. This is just that one versatile piece to have during the summer. So this is the dress from Bowdoin. Love the silhouette, really pretty neutral color as well. I can even see myself wearing this later, probably during the fall. This one also is almost like a full length dress for me. Um, so I went ahead and paired it with some lower wedge espadrilles and I thought it looked really cute. Really nice, comfortable piece here as well. What drawn me to this was the silhouette of it. It's like almost an, a slight A-line fit, but it's not like completely fitted, which I think complements my body type. Um, this is like a nice jersey fabric. I can see this being a very cool piece to wear when it's really warm out and it has nice full pockets. I'm gonna get up close so you can see the detail again. It's a black base with some floral beige detail all around the dress really cute and I really do love this top half here. I love that it has this like ruching right in the front here in the breast area to make it a little bit more flattering but it's also a little bit slightly lower cut not plunging though. It has these nice sleeves that go almost towards my elbow here but it has like a slight puffiness to the shoulder and then it has a little bit of a stretch to the shoulder as well so it gives you that space and mobility depending on the shape of your shoulders if you're a little bit thicker up here you have that comfortability in there and that's usually what I look for in dresses. It's not quite as lightweight as the other dress from Abercrombie but it's still really nice cotton fabric that keeps you cool during the summer and I think this is such a cute basic casual dress and I love this. Okay, so let's go on to this J. Crew dress. Like I said, this one also came in other colors. This is in a size small petite. I picked it up in the black because I thought I wanted something a little bit more dressy for the summer. If I wanted to get dressed up, I thought that this would be the dress to wear. Really nice, good quality dress. I love this. I don't have very many uh, dresses for the summer that have these type of sh uh, straps. I think this is kind of rare for me. Um, I love it because it's just like a solid, like maybe an inch and a half thick strap on the shoulder here. Um, and then it's just really pretty. It's a line dress. This one is black. And then it has like all this eyelet detail throughout the whole dress. It has like this button closure that goes all the way down. So you do have to unbutton these buttons to put them on. Even if there is a little bit of smocking in the back, really nice, makes it comfortable, but it is a little bit harder to just kind of throw on. You have to undo these buttons. You know, it's scooped up here in the breast area and then it has like this straight, almost like a built in belt detail here. Really cute. And this one here, I would say falls in the midi length. And I just love the shape of this. I love the fabric on this. It's a little bit more stiff. It holds its shape really nicely. And, you know, for a midi A-line fit, I think this is like really cute. This is kind of what I've been looking for for this style of dress and fabric. They have it in a white too, which I was kind of debating on whether I should pick up. But I absolutely love this. Um, really comfortable and because it is more of a dressier fit, I wore it with my Tory Burch um, 
wedges and I thought it would just look really classy together. Even this, you can wear a really nice wide rim hat and it would just look adorable with some really cute shades, bracelets, pearls, and a red lip. Just look really bougie at the same time, which is totally not me. So the, if I wore this, I'd probably wear it with the wedges at the very least. But even then, if I wanted to be comfortable, I can wear these with some flats and they would just look as cute. But really cute dress here. Love this dress so much. Super adorable. So this is the Madewell dress. I'm not so sure that this is the best silhouette on me, or at least the way the fabric is working out together but I think it is a really pretty dress. It has this tiered skirt with eyelet embroidered detail. Let me get up close so you guys can see. See, it's kind of like that. It's really pretty, really nice elements to this dress. It has smocking bodice like all around. The whole thing is smocked. Um, and then it has a little bit of ruching right at the top here to give you a nice flattering chest line there. The straps are tie tie detail here, really cute, which is the matching fabric to the skirt part of the dress. And this dress is lined as well. Really cute. This is also in a petite size. I would recommend sizing down on this dress. This is a size small petite and it still feels really loose. But if you like the color beige and want to go lighter and have the layers to it, this is a really nice option for that. Um, I'm not so sure that this is fitting nicely on my body very much, but I still think it's a pretty dress. Good quality dress for Madewell. They always have like really nice pieces. Um, and I would say this is probably like in between a full length and a midi dress as well. And it also has nice full pockets, which is always a plus for me. Um, you can't tell it's there, but it's there, really nice. Okay, so here is the last dress. For those of you who really like to wear it casual during the day, and a lot of times that's how I dress. This is the Athleta dress in this like, almost like a light, light blue color. It's got an interesting fabric to it. It's usually the type of fabric you'd wear working out, which makes it really, really lightweight. There is a slight noise to it when you move around in it because of the fabric, but I love this dress. And it is in a petite size and it's still slightly long on me. If you can see the length here, it's pretty long. This also comes in black, but I thought this dress was very flattering on. I would probably wear it with a baseball cap going to my son's school or a game that I'm gonna be watching. It's very comfortable. There's a lot of room in the neckline here. It's a V-neck, but it's a very conservative V-neck neckline. Really cute. And then I'll show you guys the belt. So it ties in the back like this, but then it's like a drawstring but the drawstring is in the front. So you would just take it and then tie it in the back. And this is what really makes the dress. If you didn't have this belt on this dress, this dress would look really weird, but the belt is what puts the whole dress together. And some really fun features about this dress, obviously it has nice full size pockets, but there's also a little secret pocket in here. And you can just unzip it and put like keys full length and then there's slits on both sides. You know, so um, if you want to show off that leg, it's, you know, you have a little bit of showiness to it, but it's, it's a very conservative slit on both sides. Um, really cute. I really do love this color. This is a dress that I could see myself wearing and pulling from my closet a lot because you look really stylish, but not trying too hard, but it's a different take on that athleisure look. Usually athleisure look requires leggings, but this is just a dress, like an athleisure dress. And I just love this. Really cute dress to wear, very lightweight. Um, and I think this would be perfect for the real warm weather that's coming up.
okay so that's everything i hope you guys enjoyed the pieces that i tried on leave a comment down below and if you enjoyed this video don't forget to give me a thumbs up i'll make sure to link everything down below for you all the pieces that i tried on will be there including my stats if you're curious about what size i wear so you can compare if you enjoy these petite hauls don't forget to subscribe thank you so much again for joining me in this petite clothing haul i appreciate you guys so much have a wonderful day enjoy the sun i'll see you guys in my next video Bye-bye.